Hope you had a nice weekend here in Mr. Cellophane Land. We enter this episode exactly where we left last time. And that is in second place in League One, six points behind Ren on another winning streak in the league. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is episode number 136 of Bottom to the Top. I'm Mr. Cellophane. I hope you're having a great weekend. Pair of victories since we last met up on Friday. 3-2 on the road against Guignamp. 4-0 at home. A very easy victory with a rotated squad against Khan. We managed to get LeBlanc another hat trick. It doesn't matter, though, because Ren just keep on winning as well we've got a big matchup in the league against the team well basically plummeting to the bottom of the table in Lens. that's going to be on the road then we are at home against napoli in the champions league a win against the Serie a foe and we will secure a spot in the knockout rounds for this year Playing through some injuries and trying to appease some egos so we will line up like this it's going to be kim seon il in goal. Antonio Sousa still injured, so Siusha is going to be our left back. It's going to be Martinez and Tarasenko in the middle with Osorio on the right-hand side. Considered Nambi, but decided against it for this one. We're going to have a midfield two of O'Malley and Simons with Baldessari getting the start on the left-wing side. Gershke Akar on the right with Kusi Asari leading the team with 17 goals. And he will be with Dimas Torcado wearing the captain's armband. One piece of good news, our short center back, Borja Heredia, has dropped his concern about his playing time. So that is one fringe player that we do not have to worry about. We just have to worry about the rest of our backups who are complaining. Valverde has uh, now numbered amongst them. Kusiasari throwing it forward. Poirier will drop it down and Lance will gain control. God, they look like Ronald McDonald in the yellow and the red. Poirier moving it forward. El Argui, good touch, though he will have his pocket picked by Javi ahead. Kusi Asari playing it out wide for Akar. In the middle, Torcado trying to do a one-two, but Vanderberg gets in the way, but his back pass intercepted by Dimas Torcado, who will pick up his seventh goal of the year a mistake by Lance on the back line and within the first six minutes it's Lance nil PSG one Vandenberg just untidy with the ball and Demas Torcado takes advantage and pounces on it so uh we will have a game in hand or Ren will have a game in hand on us we move back within three points on the live table so if this result holds we will be as close as we have been as of late. Akar with a free kick going for it, trying to pick out the top corner, but De Gea will jump up and swap that one out behind for a corner kick. Akar to delivery, does have a man short. He's going to opt to go toward the near post. Poirier clears it. Xavi sending it back in, but De Gea able to grab that one out of the air and mute any potential PSG threat. On this Friday night. Turcado with the corner kick. Kusi Asare De Gea able to make the save. Clearance made. Shusha playing it quickly up ahead to Akar. Chipping it into the middle. Badi Asare can't get his head on it. Mbamba wins that battle. Shusha looking far post. Akar finds him. Tenth goal of the season for Gershke Akar. It's Lons nil. PSG 2. It does feel a little refreshing for us to finally be taking care of business against the teams that we should be beating easily. We lost to Marseille, currently sitting in eighth. Now, Nans is in fourth place, tied on points, but behind on goal difference with Lyon. So they are at least a Champions League contending team this year. And to be fair, we were down uh, a man for 88 minutes, plus whatever stoppage time was added on. So... It's not that bad. Only having two losses in the league, also not bad. Kusiasari's cross will easily be handled by De Gea coming well off of his line, trying to send it wide for Bergershke Akar. 
Ball sent over. It gets over everybody except for Tarasenko. Kim Seon ill will hoof it down. Kusi Asari can't reach Zavi with that one. And Bamba in control, carrying it ahead in the midfield. Wide left for Yarmusin. Mbamba in the box. Yarmusin El Arguiri. And that save has been made. Barbosa will lose the ball. It will, clear, it will be cleared out by PSG as we reach the half. 4 to 8, your shots on goal. 2 0, your score. So far, things looking very good for PSG in this one. Siusa heading it forward. Cabrera is there, but he cannot control it. O'Malley for Acar. Torcado looking back for Acar. He is tackled pretty hard out there. Larmuson going to be shown the yellow card. I believe that was his second. No, it was just a straight red. I think he elbowed Gershke Acar in the face there. So Lons down to 10 men. Acar sending it forward. Torcado catches up to it. Sanders, Kusi is sorry. Unable to get his head on that one. And De Gea will gather it and send it long. Dropping it down. He's, he's not a punter. He just puts it on the ground. Osario. Near sideline for Acar. Cut off, but he's able to feed Torcado. Has a man in the middle. It's Kusi Asari back post. And he finds him. Dimas Tocardo to Jonah Kusiasari for his 18th goal of the year, assuming that it counts. And we cannot assume that at this point. But the arm will stay down. VAR has determined it was, in fact, a good goal. Great pass. Nice touch by Torcado, putting it into space. Kusiasari getting up over the defender, Conte, to head it home for number 18 on the season. And we are just hitting the month of December. Baldessare sending it deep into the lawn's end. Barbosa back to retrieve. He'll play it to De Gea. Looking to send it long. Tarasenko there to intercept. Osario with plenty of space. He'll look to get cut off, so he'll just circle back and play it back to Tarasenko. Osario into the middle. Javi with it. Nice touch. Pass to O'Malley. O'Malley into the box. But he loses control. Conte clears it. Shusha steps up. Sends it in. Akar can't get his head on it. Vandenberg clears. Javi with the loose ball. Back post. Kusia, sorry. That one. However, he cannot keep below the crossbar. We have about 30 minutes remaining in this match. It's Lons nil PSG3. And we pretty much have this in hand. So Kusia, sorry, is going to come out in place of Maros Tote. Dimo Staccato will make way for Il LeBlanc. And Le Corai Laribi will come in in place of Gershke Akar. For now, those will be the changes with about 25 minutes remaining in this match. We're out shooting lawns 10 to 5. Most of the match momentum is very clearly going our way. And we are looking to pick up our 34th point i believe in 17 matches no it's got to be better than that our average must be better than that yasafi maz taking control wang fang ahead for mbamba steps past one man but osario knocks it away isaka is there but his attempt from 27 yards out is going to fly over everything and not really trouble the keeper baldassari with the corner on this end played away gets it back laribi Outside of the zone, Baldessari, Osorio, Laribi, getting it back. Javi across, O'Malley shoots and scores. 20 yards from just outside of the box. It is Kieran O'Malley picking up the fourth PSG goal of the afternoon. With just about 15 minutes remaining in this match, I think we are going to make a change in the midfield just to get some fresh legs out there but O'Malley with an absolute blast from outside. Baltasare will make way for Damiano Diana and Kieran O'Malley will come off in place of let's put in Borja Heredia. Since he stopped complaining about his playing time I'm actually more apt to put him in there. For the final 15 minutes of this match which PSG should win handily. The only question is can we keep the clean sheet at this point, it's Lons Nail PSG 4 with just a couple of minutes left in regulation. Goals from Turcado, Akar, Kusiasare, and O'Malley. And that will be 
all that we need. It's 4-0 PSG wins again. Next order of business is taking care of Napoli and securing a spot in at least the knockout rounds of the Champions League. But our youth intake preview has come through and well, we had a pretty decent youth set up at Porto and Fulham as well. But three B's, two A's. I like what I see. Cannot wait till the full list comes out in just a couple of months. All right. This is a sick joke, football manager, and it does not amuse me. Of all the teams we could have drawn in the ninth round of the Coupe de France, we pull Ren. So one of the two teams that is most likely the favorites for this competition is going to be out before the 10th round. But that is another match for another day. Right now we're worrying about a home tilt in the Champions League against Napoli. Kim Seon Il getting the start and goal, a back four of A. More. Martinez, Tarasenko, and Siusha. Fernandez coming in in place of Javi Simons. He'll swap places with Kieran O'Malley at a front four of Torcado, Kusi Asari, Akar, and Laribi. I always get nervous when I look up the referee and I see that he's given out not one, not two, but three red cards so far this year. And the fact that we've seen some straight red cards in recent matches, both for us and against us, Makes me a little nervous. Napoli wearing all white. We are in the blue with the red stripe. Blue, it's like half and half. We're in the blue. <laughs> Putnik, though, controls for the Serie A side. Fabinho, Gnecco for Salo. Morales has it. Left side for uh, Farch Gala. I know I know how to pronounce that, but it's escaping me right now. Played back for Ferrari in the box. Ferrari moving it to his right. Still going, shooting and knocking that into the stand. So an early opportunity for Napoli falls by the wayside. Right now, PSG sitting in fifth place on 13 points. A victory will guarantee us a spot in the knockout rounds and potentially even the round of 16. But we still have a couple of more matches to play. We've got Basel and we've got Celtic still to come. Siusha with space, moving it up through the midfield, feeding O'Malley through into Jonah Kusiasare, who pots home his 19th goal of the year. Again, they're going to go through the whole thing about checking VAR, except this time there was a reason. Kusiasare was offside. It still remains PSG nil, Napoli nil. Oh. The defender was kind of doing a lean back, which meant that Kusiasare's lean forward meant that he was offside. Lucindo looking to get things started for Napoli. Nunez for Ferrari. As long as they don't pass it up the left wing, I'm fine. Putnik finds Savash Tashir. Flipping it forward. Kvarch Kela. Back intercepted by O'Malley. Sent long for Akar. Akar with it. Will lose control though on a heavy touch to Nunez. And here comes Napoli the other way. Salo. Up for Aguayo, turned over to Fernandez. Up the left wing, Torcado. With space down that far sideline, Torcado. Flipping it into the middle, looking for Laribi. He finds him, but it is just a little bit too strong. And out for an Napoli goal kick. Varchkela knocked away by Shushka. O'Malley, again playing long ball to Gershke Akar. I think the board's going to like this uh, direct football we've all of a sudden started playing. Laribi moving it to the interior. Now cutting toward the box. Across for Fernandez. His shot will rock it wide. It was a beautiful move by Laribi. Great play over to Fernandez. But unfortunately, the shot unable to find the target. We have hit the target twice out of our five shots. Napoli, only the one shot that we saw sail into the stands. We've played 30 minutes of football. We are start, still tied Nil, nil. PSG on 13 points. Napoli on 11. Due to results elsewhere, basically Inter taking a lead on Borussia Dortmund, we have been dropped down into 7th place. Well, that already changed. As Dortmund came back with a pretty quick response. It's 1-1 there. Ren also tied 1-1. We are dominating this match in many, many, many ways. However, the scoreboard will say otherwise. As Matias Sule comes in for Aguayo for Napoli, they're making a change 
at the half and can't really blame them with only a handful of shots in that first half and no real good true opportunities on Kim Seon Il. Meanwhile, we have done a very nice job throwing the ball forward in the direction of Gershke Akar. If only we could uh, complete the deal. Uh, Akande ahead for Shavish Tashir. Morales feeding it up the left wing. Shusha with great pressure. Wins the ball across the midfield stripe. Torcado ahead. Akar in. Shoots. Scores. Gershke Akar picking up his 11th goal of the season. Oh, Lord, was he offside. I don't think so. He looked onside to me. And he was. It's PSG 1. Napoli nil. Torcado. Yeah, there was no way he was offside there. Beautiful ball into the box, into the middle. That early cross finds a car in stride. And it's 1-0 PSG as we see once again that he was most definitely 100% onside. 20 minutes remaining. A car to send in the corner near post. Kusi Asari doesn't win the header. Liribi in for Dimitro Tarasenko. And he will score on a side angle header. But he actually may have been offside. So this could be the second PSG goal that is called back. But it is not. Keep an eye. Yeah, Tarasenko was played on by both of these guys over here. So PSG finds themselves with a 2-0 lead. Yep, there's one, there's two. What a beautiful header. Tarasenko picking up his first goal of the season. Mars Tote. Coming in in place of Kusi Asari, Torcado will make way for Pietro Baldassare as we make two changes just to get some fresh legs out on the pitch. But a commanding 2-0 lead here for PSG over Napoli. And a turnover, that was a bad one. Off of a set piece, Greco, I don't know what he was doing. Gershke Akar was marking his man tightly, wins the ball, puts it past Lucindo to give PSG a 3-0 lead. Just not enough pace on that pass. Good good get up there from uh, Gershke Akar. And right now PSG. No, we're still behind on goal difference. We are currently sitting in second place on the Champions League table. Right behind Fulham. It's uh, Fulham's a team that we did beat. So one loss for each side. We lost to Atleti. Fulham lost to us. They do still hold the lead 9-8 in goal difference but that will be enough to at least secure us a spot in the playoffs of the champions league it has been confirmed that that win is enough to get us into the knockout round of the champions league one more victory if i've done my math correctly and we are through to the round of 16 we still have matches against celtic and basel coming up we're not going to show you either of those we are also not going to be goaded into Coming back in time for the ninth round matchup on the road against Rennes in the Coupe de France. Because frankly, the Coupe de France means absolutely nothing to me. It's all about the Champions League knockout rounds and the league on action. So we are going to return late in the month of January for a pair of league matches on the road at Stade de Rennes and at home against Monaco. I hope you are here for that tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you like and subscribe and do all of those things that I generally ask you to do to support the channel besides just watching. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye.